going on guys it's the weekend you guys know what that means we are back at the creek looking for more gold well in this case we're actually at a gold mine I'm out here with John and we're at Portis gold mine so we're out here looking for gold let me pan you guys around and show you exactly what we're doing all right I got John down there shoveling into my brand new high banker we're digging it out here guys about to go down there and see how well it's working all right we have the high banker running here check it out it's looking pretty good creating pretty good action. I can just uh, put a bunch of dirt up at the top and it slowly works its way down. Everything's staying active inside the box. Look at that. Yeah, she's running nice. Now, since this material is legitimately straight up clay. That's all it is. All clay. We are having to uh, kind of put the material in the buckets and let it break itself down a little bit before we put it into this high banker here. All right, we're gonna run for a little while and uh, we'll come back to you. Pretty 
All right, guys. We uh, stopped and just checked our uh, mats for a little bit there. There's not a whole lot of gold here. A little bit. We ran like five buckets of material through the sluice here. Um, really, what we wanted to see was wanted to see how well this thing operated as a high banker. And Paul with Adventures in Gold Prospecting. Check them out on Facebook, guys. This is a magnificent high banker slash sluice combo. You guys have already seen the sluice in action. And the sluice works exceptionally well by itself. And so does the high banker attachment. Got a little boil box going on right up in here. Yeah. It's only running on a one horse or a one inch predator pump from Harbor Freight. And it's not even going at full speed, you know. I've only got it at half idle here. Look at that. Half speed. And it is just rocking. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do some more uh, shoveling into the box and we'll come back to you guys. Well guys, we were digging it until we uh, cleaned out the whole sluice after our, doing all of our runs. And then we knocked the bucket into the pond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did that. Yeah. <laughs> then we lost the too. Oh man. But hey, that's just because... <laughs> yeah, we're digging it. And it gives me an excuse to say that that's just us giving back to the gold prospecting community so you guys can find that gold. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. And unfortunately, I don't have any gold to show you, but we got something better. We got proof that the custom built high baker works pretty well. All right, and with that, we're out. All right, guys. I hope you didn't think that I was just going to end that video and not show you any gold. What kind of gold prospecting show would that be? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, after we knocked that bucket of our cons into the pond, well, they really didn't have any gold to show you guys. So, uh, came out here today and we're going to run a couple buckets um, of some material and that way I can show you guys at least a little bit of gold, right? All right, so we are just back at the same spot that we've been uh, working in the uh, previous couple videos. Uh, check out the clickable links at the end of this video to go back and watch those episodes. Um, I just got here. It's uh, late in the afternoon. I don't know, about, about 2 o'clock, I think. It's, uh, it's a Friday afternoon. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill a couple buckets up and uh, set the sluice up and we'll come back to you. Hopefully, we'll have uh, a little bit of gold to show you at the end of this episode. Alright guys, we have two buckets filled up, ready to run. They are heavy too, that's why I'm out of breath. Uh, so we got two buckets ready to run. Got the sluice box, looking like it's running pretty nice. I've got the mini cell dream mat up in the top. Um, I didn't feel like changing out that top plate up there that holds the mat in. Uh, that's why I just put in the mini mat there. So Anyway, let me get all set up and we'll start running some material and uh, see if we're still on the gold.
have a lot of people that uh, that ask me what angle I run my sluice at, you know, how fast do you run it, and to be honest, I don't even know what angle I run it at. I just know when it looks right, and when I put the material in there, how the material acts and clears. Right now, there's a piece of gold right there. Hasn't made it over the top yet. So that's a clear indicator for me that the sluice is set up perfectly because I like to put my material in here. And if you watch really closely up here at the front, you'll see the blondes go over first, then followed by the black sands. And then if there's gold, your gold will slowly creep down in the last spot. So right here, you can see that? That gold is sitting right there. So I know this sluice right here is running perfectly right now and I know I have it set up right. So that's how I set my sluice up. I know everybody does it differently, but I find it runs really efficiently this way. And then I know to feed the next scoop, whenever I start seeing these first couple cells start clearing, now I'm seeing it exchange, therefore I can go ahead and put another scoop of material in there. The second row here, it usually never clears just because the lip on this uh, uh, plate makes the material, the larger rocks and stuff jam up right there, but no issue. It'll still catch your fine gold. All right, so we got one bucket down. We got the last one to run right here. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. We'll do a cleanup and we'll come back to you. Piece of gold. Another small piece. Another small piece right there. All right, guys, we just got done running both of those buckets, and I do have a little bit of gold to show you guys. Yeah, the high banking day out was kind of a, it's kind of a test to uh, see how the high banker was going to perform. And, well, the high banker for that sluice box that's in my bag works very well, actually. I was, I was decently surprised. 
Um, it is unfortunate that we uh, we knocked the whole bucket of our cons into the pond. But hey, you uh, live and you learn and you know now not to put your cons next to the pond. Anyway, coming back, uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how we did for those two buckets and show you guys a little bit of gold for this video. Check that out. That ain't bad at all. That is certainly not bad at all. All right. Well, I'm gonna get that snuffed up and get all packed up and I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, high banking episode there and following it up with finding a little bit of gold to show you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, as you can see, that custom sluice by Adventures in Gold Prospecting. Check them out on Facebook. Um, it is very functional as both a sluice and a high banker, so I'm definitely digging that. Um, yeah, and I came out here today enjoying a beautiful day out here. And that's more valuable than anything, guys. Just out here enjoying the day and uh, having fun and finding a little bit of gold. Can't ask for much more than that. Um, I am glad I got to show you guys a little bit of gold that we got. Oh man, the bugs are already coming back. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, I'm glad to uh, show you guys a little bit of gold. Uh, I know it's not really a gold prospecting episode without a little bit of gold, right? Alright guys, so if you're digging this episode, let me know in the comments below and we'll catch you guys on the next episode, so stay tuned.